Revelation 3497. From the 25th of July 1945. Apathy. Divine Intervention. An inconceivable indifference towards everything spiritual has taken hold of people and a state has arisen where it is difficult for God's servants to find a hearing in order to spread the word of God. People are completely taken captive by their concern for earthly life and all contact with the spiritual world through thoughts which apply to God or their souls has ceased so that it is also impossible for the beings of light of the spiritual kingdom to have a mental effect on people. And thus they distance themselves more and more from the actual goal, they become more materialistic than ever and are on the path to complete spiritual standstill with the danger of regression until the near end. People's will is weakened and they do not resort to the only means to strengthen it through invocation of Jesus Christ, through heartfelt prayer for strength and power. A thought of the Divine Redeemer coming from the heart, a supplication for help spiritually and earthly, would earn people the increased will. Yet they do not acknowledge Jesus Christ or they are indifferent towards the redemption problem if they do not reject Him directly and therefore they also lack all strength for spiritual striving because they lack the serious will for it. But if the word of God is to become effective in them, then the human beings will must have become active first, and thus the human being must pay attention to the one who imparts the word of God to him. God's servants, however, are more likely to meet with resistance if they want to make themselves heard. They are listened to unwillingly, ridiculed or brusquely rejected. There is no field for the Lord's laborers, and the siege falls on stony ground. Human admonitions and warnings are of no avail. The word of God proclaimed through the mouth of man is not accepted. And so God must express himself and speak with a voice that the human ear must hear even against his will. People's rejection requires this if God does not want them to perish and sink into complete spiritual night. Voluntarily they no longer accept spiritual indications and thus they must compulsorily send their thoughts into the spiritual kingdom, although even then it is still left to their will whether they want to dwell in it or escape from it, as soon as God has spoken. The fact that God will express himself has been determined since eternity, so that people will still be offered a last opportunity to awaken from their apathy and to direct their thoughts upwards, because God's intervention is too obvious. Because his voice will sound mightily, because he will express himself through the forces of nature and people will experience a spectacle full of horror which will make God's power recognizable to them if they are not completely hardened and in bondage to God's adversary. For God, in his love, uses all means to still win people's souls before the end, yet he does not curtail the freedom of will. And anyone who remembers the Divine Redeemer in the hours of earthly hardship and despair, who approaches him in supplication, will be given the strength to believe, and the divine intervention will not pass him by without leaving a trace, he will recognize God by it and change his will. He will not lack the strength to carry out what he vowed to God in hours of utmost adversity. He will be faithful to him from the start, and blessed is he who recognizes God before it is too late. He is still granted a short time of grace which he can use until the end, for this is imminent. Amen.